weird little rocks. Hmm. Ah, these little stones were from the stream near the summer house. You painted them? Me in August. The rocks from the stream were so smooth, but I forget why we painted them. <laughs> you were really that bored, huh? There weren't many TV channels back then. Mm, tragic. Well, whoever this guy was, it sure seems like he and Grandma had something pretty intense going on. Was Grandma Helen... in some kind of secret relationship? No! Not the Helen I knew. <gasps> Intrigue! Grandma, what were you up to? Grandma's... diary? Should we? Oh, I don't think... we should really... Oh, Grandma wouldn't have cared. I'm dead. What difference does it make to me? I can hear her saying it now. What is this? So, Grandma and this guy were definitely together before Grandpa died? And they were gonna run away together? You never heard about this? No, this is- a And what is this key to? Why is it hidden in here? Something at the summer home, I assume. I okay, well, now we've gotta go check the whole place out. To find out who this mystery man was. Don't you want to know? I don't know, Tess. I, we still have so much to do around here. Come on. It'll be fun. An adventure. I still need to call Tina at the theater and finish cleaning out the fridge. Come on. We never get to do stuff together. You spend all your time at the theater, and I spend all my time in school. When, when was the last time we were able to do something? To talk? Well... You do want to know, don't you? I can see it, Mom. I can see it in your face. <sighs> oh, God. You know, a little change of scenery would be nice. Ha, that's the spirit. We could spare a weekend before we have to move for a little road trip, right? To tie up some loose ends. Right. And some of those little towns along the way are great for antiquing. Yeah, sure. All right, it's a deal. Let's hit the road and see what we find. I could really use a break from all this, even if it's just for a weekend. Pack your overnight bag. Yes! And bring your homework. I don't need you falling behind at school. What about August's book? We can FedEx it to her when we get back. Okay. A road trip! This is gonna be great.
When did you say the last time you were at this summer house was? Oh, when I was, I guess, 15? Your age? I'm 16. I meant about your age. <laughs> so, a long time ago. Wow. No one's been there since, like, the 19th century. <laughs> ha ha. What was the Industrial Revolution like? <laughs> Tess, I wouldn't know. Did you ever meet Galileo? <laughs> Jesus, how old do you think I am? I mean, I'm just estimating. It, it's a rough estimate. It's a rough estimate. <laughs> I'll say. It was the 60s, I think, summer of 68. 1968. So, like, 30... Five years ago? And you say you're bad at math. What was it like? The summer house? And the dark ages, but yeah, the summer house. <laughs> I just always really liked it there. It was an escape. From what? Everything, I guess. School, town, same old. Every day just felt like it was ours when we were there. Sounds really nice. So why did we never go? I don't know. It was somewhere I always associated with being a kid. Yeah, we stopped going as a family when I was your age, and then I went off to college, and then married your father. Did Dad even know about this place? I can't imagine Dad passing up a free summer home where he could just hang out and do nothing all day. So you're saying your father is lazy? No, Dad's a hard worker. <laughs> okay. He'd work late at the video store all the time. He'd be there with the closing shift. Watching movies on the store monitors. <laughs> You've got to have something on for the customers. Closing is a pain in the butt. And he'd manage the schedules and store finances. He even made the window displays. Fine. Those were pretty cool. No. I mean, I guess there is a real reason I never told your father about the old summer place. Because I knew he would never have put in the work to actually fix it up so we could use it. It needed a lot of work? Well, not last I saw it, but being unoccupied for decades, out there in the middle of nowhere, it's got to be falling apart. Yeah, you're right. That sucks. I was hoping maybe we could fix it up. And use it as a vacation home? We're about to be kicked out of our actual home. What would we need a vacation home for? To live in? To live in? Tess, I, I'm sorry, it's... You couldn't live there, and not, not year-round. Why not? Well, it doesn't have central heat, or even really insulation. It's a summer home, not a winter home. Well, it's better than not having a home at all, isn't it? Okay, you know, we're not going to be homeless. But we're getting kicked out of Grandma Helen's house. We don't have anywhere else to live. We'll find a place. What kind of place? I don't know yet. We're going to be living in this car, aren't we? No. Just like when you lived in that van. We can find an apartment. How are you even going to pay for an apartment? The theater company, uh, you know. I thought you said it was underwater. Well, you know, it's not doing great, but... Mom. What? We need money. Believe me, Tess, I know. If Dad was still here... Excuse me? He, he could help. Pay for things. <laughs> if your father and I were still together, we wouldn't be in this situation in the first place. Well, have you asked Dad if he could send back some money? To help? Absolutely not. <laughs> he, he doesn't have the money. But Dad moved out west for work. <laughs> well, don't laugh at me. I'm not. I'm not. It's just work. Sure. It, it wasn't for work? Then, then what was it then? I think I deserve to know. 
If he hasn't told you his side of the story, I'm not gonna step in and take that responsibility for him, like I always did. Your father left me in a hell of a situation. We made all these decisions together. Do you not understand that? We made decisions that depended on us both, you know, sticking around. I didn't plan for any of this. <laughs> you idealize your father, you know that? And I just <sighs> don't really want to talk about it right now. Fine. Let's never talk about it. Let's never talk about anything important. Are you sending text messages to someone? Yes. Yes, I am. To who? It's to whom, Mother? It was Dad. <laughs> hmm. Just getting his side of the story, huh? Uh... No comment. It's alright. Having a common enemy can help bring people together. You're not my enemy. Or Dad's. Sometimes it feels that way. Well, it's... not supposed to. Mom! My god. Are you okay? I... Just didn't think it would still be here. Um, Mom, it... Well, it is. <laughs> and it looks to be surprisingly well-preserved. It's... Well, it's not just like I remember it. <laughs> A little more... Of a dump? Weathered. Than the last time I was here. But I guess I am too. Want to start looking around? Yeah. It's your cool van. And it's locked. Gotta keep all the cool stuff in there secure. Please tell me the keys are somewhere. I need to see what a lava lamp looks like after it just sits there mutating for 30 years. They might have been... Hmm... I can't remember. Don't do this to me, Mother. I have to see how much tie-dye is in there. Please. Oh! August was always trying to steal my keys so she could get in there and mess with my stuff. They're probably in her room. Oh, the little criminal! All right, I'm on the case. The cool stuff is so close, I can taste it. What's in here? That's just August's old room. Let's try and find some other way in. Is this, uh... Is this a trailer home? It's a mobile home. What did I just say? They're not the same thing. A trailer home hooks up to the back of a truck and can be towed around. You can take it from place to place. A mobile home arrives on a trailer, like towed by a big truck. 
go on. A mobile home doesn't have wheels. Well, why didn't you just say that? Well, I, I will admit it took me a moment to untangle the nuances. Mom, you know what it sounds like. You had a Francine. <laughs> I guess I did. I've never heard of Lori before. Are you still in touch with her? It was short for Dolores. Maybe you've heard me talk about my old friend Dolores? No, I don't think so. Hmm. I mean, we haven't spoken in years. One of those friends you have in high school and then college happens and, you know... That's never gonna happen with me and Francine. We'll still be friends when I'm as old as you. A very long time from now. Like, so long from now. Wait, you're not implying I'm old? No, of course not. But God, it's gonna be a long time from now. A little tiny key. What do you think it's for? Probably unlocking something. Ugh. Maybe a desk drawer? Would you look at this? A postcard from the mystery man. What was he running from? The cops? For what? Tax evasion. That's surprisingly mundane. <laughs> it's how they got Al Capone. Fair enough. Sheesh, what happened here? Looks like the wall gave way. Water damage, I guess. What is this thing? It's the water heater. Oh, that, that's why you said water damage. I get it, I'm following along. Well, it's not going anywhere now. Can we climb over it? No! God, look at all that rusty metal. I'm up on my tetanus shots, aren't I? We're not risking it. Well, what's that thingy back there? Hmm, it's a maintenance hatch for getting down into the crawl space under the house. Is there any other way into the crawl space? I think there's a way to get in from around the back. Why are you acting so excited? Well, if we could get into the crawl space, we could climb back up out of that hatch and get over to that side of the mobile home to find more stuff. I'm not sure why you're using the plural here. 
And also, I really want to see if there's any cool, creepy stuff under there. Like a skeleton. Listen, you can give it a peek if you want, but there is no way I'm crawling under there with you. You're on your own. Hey, no problem. More cool, creepy stuff for me. Oh, look at this big pink guy. <laughs> Kurt won that for me. At the fair. Kurt? We... well... We met at the drive-in diner. <gasps> you had a summer fling? <laughs> I... well... Was he cute? I thought he was very handsome. And he rode a motorcycle. Oh my god, a bad boy? It... Well, honestly, I fell for him pretty hard that summer. It was pretty, uh... Cool? On his motorcycle? <laughs> he was very... romantic. Oh, no. <laughs> no, not like that. Well, a little like that. Ah, oh, no. So, what happened? Did you break up with him, or...? Uh, I don't remember. It was just a summer thing, it doesn't really matter. Wow. Did I hit a nerve? Hey, maybe we should keep looking around for more relevant things? Nightshade? It was because he could only come out at night. Or stay in the shade, as I remember it. Okay, well that's spooky as hell. August was just a kid. She needed someone to talk to. Did it have to be a freaky, imaginary friend who lurked in the shadows? I mean, what about you or Grandma Helen? Well, I was a teenager. I don't think I was the most, I don't know, compassionate at that age. I had my own problems. If I had a little sister and dad died, I'd be there for her to talk to. It's different. You don't know what having a little sister is like. Are you trying to say you were justified in not helping your little sister when she was grieving after her father died? I helped. I did. I mean, we were all there for each other, but... I could have used more help, too. I don't think I had anything left to give. So August made a new friend for herself, one who would always listen. So, this is how we get into the crawl space? You keep saying we. So, this is how intrepid people with an innate sense of curiosity get into the crawl space? Among other personality traits, yes. Fine then, I'll go it alone. You're probably too frail to get in here anyway. Those creaky knees of yours. Wow. Okay, into the filthy crawl space you go. See you on the other side.
Ooh, this is good. Mom's gotta see this. Oh, cool. Did you do these with Grandma? No, August did. I never had a green thumb. She loved helping my mother in the garden. Really? Why do you say it like that? I don't know. Can you picture August getting her hands dirty out in the garden now? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> but if my mother was ever out in the garden, she was out there with her, helping the best she could. I remember one year, maybe when she was six, she started crying so hard when it came time to pick the berries and vegetables. But the plants worked so hard growing them. You can't just take them. Aw, well now I feel bad for the plants. She was a sensitive kid. So am I. So what happened? Hmm? To August. She doesn't seem so sensitive now. Oh, life happened, I guess.
found a way in. Hang on, I'll open the back door. Hey, Mom? I found something. Look, look! Another letter. He wanted to live with Grandma on a boat? Maybe we can figure out where the boat was by looking at the photo. It looks like... well... It looks like a boat. A houseboat. Hmm. Can't see much of the surrounding area. It's near... trees? Maybe we can look for some of those. A place in Canada with trees. That narrows it down. What's this about? Oh, that was the town where Kurt lived. You know, we were a summer thing, but we were planning on how we could keep seeing each other once we both went home after the summer. I guess I was feeling pretty lost. I latched onto him and held on tight. He became my plan for how I would be okay. And that didn't work out? Yeah, like these things often do. So how'd you end up with Dad? Sorry? Well, you didn't end up with Kurt. How'd you end up with Dad? Oh, it was a lot of years later that I met your dad. After college, I moved back to Greenville for my bookkeeping job. It was, it was actually when I was in one of the first plays I performed in at the Andromeda. Your dad was in the audience. He hung around outside the stage door after the show and flagged me down. He said there was a problem with the production. He was so distracted by my beauty that he couldn't pay attention to anything else going on in the play. Aw, that's so romantic. It's like something out of a rom-com. I, I found it endearing at the time. He was very persistent. Was Dad big into local theater? Uh, no. He told me later that he'd actually been at the play on a date with someone else. He told her he needed to head home, then hung around the theater to talk to me. <laughs> wow. Bold. Did you find that endearing? I guess at the time I found it flattering. And a little funny. <laughs> I should have realized it was a red flag. Wait, are... Are you saying Dad cheated on you? Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. Just... Uh... You know, it's a sleazy move. So, not the kind of thing Kurt would have done? Oh, I don't know. Do you remember... Well, did it seem like Grandma wanted to... Leave my father? I mean... Hmm... I guess when I was around your age, I started wondering why they were together in the first place. They didn't seem to... Make sense together? Yeah. Huh. I remember when I started wondering that about you and Dad. Why you were together. You're both so different. Did you used to have more in common? Um... Well... When you're together at first, everything about each other is new. They can cover up a lot of things. But when you get used to each other, that's when it can be hard. But sometimes, you know, by that point, it's too late. Too late? Because you're already married? Mm-hmm. I know you said that you didn't know if you were going to get married, but if you do, just don't rush into it. So you... Wish you'd never married Dad? You wish you hadn't gotten married in the first place. And that I wasn't around. <laughs> I'm sure it would have made your life a lot easier. Honey, that's not how it is. It's not as simple as that. And it's not because of you. There's... Uh, there's a lot more to it. We'll talk about it someday. When's someday? Not today. Then when? <sighs> not today.
go mechanics. Oh, man. I forgot that August had this. I let her keep it when I moved into the van. But August didn't even go to Fort State. She almost did. We were both so excited to, growing up. Don't you remember Grandma talking about how much she loved it? I remember her talking about how sexist it was. Yeah, well, everything was sexist back then. But we're a Ford State family. You'll be a triple legacy. I'm not gonna be a triple legacy. I don't even know if I wanna go to college. What do you mean you don't know if you wanna go to college? Of course you're going. I can make my own choices. What kind of choice is that? To be broke? I'm not gonna be broke. I've been working really hard on my design business. And August didn't go to college. August was lucky. She's talented, but she's also lucky. When I'm 18... Look, I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. It's not a discussion. Fine. I mean, fair enough. You gotta go along to get along. Oh, that's not what this is. She's telling her to act her age, not conform. Isn't that the same thing? Of course not. What happens if you don't look out and meet friends who you get along with perfectly? I feel like there are people for everyone, but what if you never meet them? Ships in the night. Most people meet them later in life. Meeting a good friend in grade school is incredibly lucky. But what does someone like that do? Just have no friends? Get bullied by a bunch of twerps? Grandma just wanted her to have friends. Don't act like you didn't buy me hush puppies in seventh grade. You said you wanted those. I wanted them because I wanted to have friends, not because I thought they were cute. That's terrible. Those were expensive. So what? So you compromise a little aesthetically and you can maintain your interior uh, individuality. You know what I mean? Clothes are the most boring form of expression. What am I gonna do, get a nose ring to be different so I can look like every other person with a nose ring? You are a very strange teenager, Tess. <laughs> See, I've maintained my individuality. Oh, how fun! Wait, did they not get to use these? No video games back then, I guess. Poor, deprived kids. Aha! This must be the key to the van! Poor kid. Did she get made fun of a lot? At school and stuff? I think she got picked on when she was little, but she toughened up. I guess right around this age, when we came back from our last summer trip. What changed? I don't know.
What's in here? That was my mom and dad's room. Well, just my mom's room last we were here. Well, dang it, that door stuck. I think... Look, we could twist the latch open if... I think I could get this open with a flathead screwdriver. Awesome. Where's one of those? Um... Oh, I had a little toolkit in the glove box of my van. Nice. Precious stone? This was to you? Subtle, right? <sighs> My mother was against me and Kurt being together from the start. To be fair, I would go off to who knows where with him and sometimes not come back till the morning. Now I understand how worried she must have been as a mother. <gasps> you were a bad kid? Do you ever thank your lucky stars I'm not a bad kid? I don't know. You and Francine can stay up pretty late. <laughs> Playing The Sims and eating pizza rolls. <laughs> yeah, you kids are wild these days. Oh, it's everything I'd imagined. It's got an ugly lamp, an acoustic guitar, <laughs> a concerning scent of mold? I mean, what do you expect? It's been under this carport for 30 years. That's why I'm not coming inside. Okay, I'll just look around and get out. It is kind of gross in here. You're just looking for the screwdriver, right? Right. Don't get too nosy, all right? All right, all right. But look at all this stuff. Wow. Brutal, Lori. Brutal. But kind of fair. Wow. Mom was even into theater back then. Huh. Holy shit. How was the stuff? Cool as you'd hoped? Well, I found, um... This. You guys didn't just drift apart at the end of the summer, did you? No. I came to work at the diner one night, and they said someone had left a note for me. And it was this stupid thing. That sucks, Mom. I just felt like such an 
idiot. I put all my energy into plans, planning how we'd be able to stay together, planning how our life was going to be, planning how he'd be the answer for how I was going to be okay. And then one day, this. I don't know if I've ever cried as much as I did for the week after I got this. He seems like an asshole. Hey, language. Sorry. In this case, it's okay. There was a lesson I should have learned that summer. You can't rely on other people. What? If you put your trust in other people, if you expect them to be there for you, one day they won't be. So what, you shouldn't have friends or relationships? Well, no, I just mean you can care about other people, but you have to be ready for them to go away and be okay on your own when they do. Are you... You're making it sound like... Are you saying Dad left you? I thought you said you both agreed to get divorced. <clears throat> well, either way, he's not here, is he? Mom, what happened? With you and Dad splitting up? He always makes it sound like... Like you wanted him to leave, but... He does? I, I mean, I... If he's telling you I wanted this... I... <laughs> See? This is why you need to be okay on your own. If you're fine on your own, when they leave, you don't have to feel this way. Remember that. Well... I've got the screwdriver. Good. That's good. Ah, door, we meet again, but this time, I'm ready for you. Hey, good work. Thanks, Mom. Would you have loved living on a boat? Ha, <laughs> I don't think so. I, I wonder what age he thought I was. He couldn't have thought a teenage girl would want to... Wait, I, I hadn't even thought of that. My mother was just going to take me and August and we were all going to run off to Canada? I mean, of course she wasn't just going to leave us behind, but... Sounds like Grandma had some big plans worked up. Well, look, he said she started having cold feet. And she must have written him back and said she wasn't sure if she could come after all. You think she realized that maybe her kids wouldn't have been so happy moving onto a boat with some random man in Canada? Can I start calling him Canada Man? You can call him whatever you want. This is so strange. Love makes you do crazy things. Love or grief? Both?
Ah, oh, my mom loved this desk. I remember when she brought it home from the flea market. Jeez, how many desks did Grandma have? <sighs> uh, kind of a lot, I guess. I mean, she was a writer. She liked to move around. Well, let's see what she was hiding in here. Ugh, it's locked. Hmm. This gives me an idea. The little key? From Grandma's diary? <gasps> right! What's that? What? I'm sorry. What? What does he mean? When he says those are his kids? Uh, I... Well, was Grandpa Leo n not your real dad? I... Could that have been why he was trying to run away with you in August and Grandma Helen? I can't even imagine. Look, look, Mom. Look. This one. This note. It has a return address. Pierre Lautrec. Box 9, Hop to Lake, Carndale, Ontario. Do you want to go check it out? What? No. No? But... Tess, we already drove however many hours up here and dug around getting dirty and all this stuff. I'm not driving us to Canada based on some return address from over 30 years ago. We have the rest of the house to pack up, and I still need to call the electric company to schedule our end of the service, which I probably should have done sooner and move- Mom, stop. This is your father we're talking about here. It's about who you really are. It's about who I really am. Was my grandfather really my grandfather? Who was this guy? Who who are we? These are big questions, Mom, and you're just gonna turn around and drive home? Okay, listen. Yes. Hey, I, I'm not doing this because of your sterling rhetorical skills. You didn't win this one. I just happen to agree with you. I do want to know who my mother might have been mixed up with, and, and why she never told me about it and who my real father is. And if we go check out this address, we might find nothing, but we might find something. So if one more day of driving is all it takes to find out one way or the other, then why not, right? Right. Glad I could convince you. No, you just happen to be right. Exactly. Glad you came around to see things my way in the end. Okay, should we get going? It's getting dark. Yeah. Let's find somewhere to stay for the night. We'll look up directions. Get back on the road in the morning. Hotel night. We're getting room service. Thank you, Mom. Best weekend ever. But we didn't find that hidden fortune you were so excited about. Yeah. Maybe it's on the other side of the border. <laughs> Maybe. Come on, let's get out of here.
All right. Time to order that room service. Uh... This is not the kind of place that has a room service. I'm sorry. What? Hotels do room service. This is a motel. Just like the summer place was a mobile home and not a trailer. Right. But the other way around. But there's a restaurant and lounge right next door, though. I'm gonna head down there and get us dinner, okay? And I'm going to have a cocktail while I wait. It's been a long day. I'll be back with something to eat soon. Well, all right. That's almost like room service. What do you want to eat? Oh, um, burger? Um, burger it is. Do your homework. Thank <laughs> you.